Hi there guys, Coach Rob here with you with another ab workout for the day. We're going to keep it fun as usual and we're going to keep it to 7 minutes. We're going to be doing pretty much 30 second intervals of work until the end. So we'll be doing 30 seconds of right rotational crunches, which is laying straight, legs out straight. We're going to turn our shoulders to the right, crunch up, and come this way. So we'll do 30 seconds of those. And then we're going to go to the Oreo, which is the lower body, and we're going to go to the left. So we're going to keep the heels together and tight to the butt. We're going to turn the hips to the left, crunch the butt to the knees, come across and down. And we're just going to keep them going to the left. Then we're going to do 30 seconds of starfish crunches. So we're going to be in that X. We're going to be here. We're going to crunch up and reach across to that foot. Crunch up and reach across the other one. Then we will rest 30 seconds. Then we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We'll do 30 seconds of left rotational crunches. So these but rotating to the left. Then we'll do 30 seconds of Oreos, but going to the right. Just like that. And then we're going to do one minute of that starfish crunch, which is going to get pretty gnarly. Um, but it's going to be good. It's going to get those abs fired up. And again, that's just here, crunching up and reaching for the leg. Um, then we'll get one whole minute to rest. So we get a nice minute of rest after that long minute of the work. Then we're going to go into one minute of a back plank. So, just like our normal plank, but on the back, you're going to go on the elbows here, and we're just going to squeeze the butt, lift the hips, hold that for a minute, or as much of that minute as possible. Um, if that's a little too hard, feel free to go up to your arms and just hold it like so. Right after that minute, we'll go into our final minute of work. And what we're going to do is uh, you can just do push-ups, which is like this. Hands at about shoulder width, elbows angled back like an arrow, and just pressing up, keeping that core tight. Or you can do a plank hold here or here. Um, so you kind of get the pick here at the end. What I'm going to do is a plank with a unilateral raise, raising one arm with a light band here. So if you have a light band at home, the way you can do this is I'm going to stretch the band out. I'm going to put my feet in the back of the band here. And I'm actually pulling it up. So you can see here, it's about the middle of my foot. And then I'm just gonna stretch this band out over one hand and I'm gonna put it through my thumb there so it can't come out of my hand's grip. And then I'm just gonna set up for my push up. So the first 30 seconds I'm gonna do the right hand. And I'm just here, I'm gonna do a push up and then raise my arm, pause and down. Keeping that core good and tight and as stable as possible. So I'll do 30 seconds of that, I'll come down, I'll switch that hand quick, again, putting it inside the thumb, setting my hands up so I look like an arrow. We don't want to look like a T, alright, especially if we're going for reps. If you're going, you know, to pack on some muscle to complement your bench, and you're only going to about 90, that's okay. But, it's, in the long term, it's going to take an effect on your shoulders. So we want to be here, nice and functional, good and close, looking like an arrow down, and then you just raise that other side, you can keep those feet as far apart or as close as you want. And again, just raising, keeping that core good and braced, hips tight. Um, so again, you can mess with that there at the end. Do what you want. Plank holds a very, very good one to end with and just squeezing that core. I'm just making it a little more advanced with that in the push-up. And I want to get some push-ups in today, so um, they're one of my favorite movements. I like them. Uh, so let's get ready to work here. Seven minutes. Ten second countdown. And then we have that right rotating crunch. Five seconds, here we go. Three, Feet two, together, one, squeezing those heels go. together, turning to the right. 30 seconds. It's getting good contractions. Good. Halfway. Good work, guys. One more rep. Good. Now we're going to the left with that Oreo. Heels together, tight to the butt, turning to the left, crunching the knees to the chin. Just doing a circle with that lower body now for 30 seconds. Good work, guys. And we're going to go into that starfish crunch here next. 10 seconds, couple more reps. Trying to keep those heels as tight to the butt as you can. One more rep. Good. Starfish crunch. 
30 seconds. Here we go. Good work, guys. 20 seconds. Then we get that 30 seconds of rest. Oh, these are the icing on the cake. Good job, guys. Eight seconds. Cool, 30 seconds to rest. Good job, guys. What I like to do with those starfish crunches is kind of kind of slow that negative down when I come down on that and get a real good contraction when I'm coming off that. 20 seconds. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do that rotational crunch, but to the left for 30 seconds. Then we'll do the right side Oreo. Then we have one minute of those starfish crunches. So if you can't tell already, these first movements are just kind of softening us up for that starfish crunch and those ending planks. So here we go. We're going to be doing left rotating crunch. Two seconds. Here we go, 30 seconds, rest is up. Keeping those heels together, getting a good crunch. Coming up to a point where there's tension constantly on those abs as we come across. Lifting and rolling those shoulders. Good work, guys. 15 seconds. Good, eight seconds. Give in one more. Good work. We're going to the right with that Oreo. Go ahead. Good job, guys. Excellent. Remember to breathe. Good contractions. 15 seconds. Try to get in one or two more. One more. Excellent work, guys. One minute. Starfish crunch, then we get a minute of the rest. Here we go. Good reps, good quality contractions. Work it for as much of oh, this minute that you get. Oh, that's feeling saucy. 40 seconds, guys. Here we go. Oh, 30 seconds. That feels nice. That's what we like right there. When it's burning, the body's changing, baby. Ah, 20 seconds. Then we get the rest. Finish strong here. Contracting that core. You got it. Good work, guys. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Give me one more rep, guys. Come on. And rest. Whew. Good work. One minute to rest. One full minute. Breathe deep. Get oxygen in there. Get a slight pause between breaths. Or just a nice slow inhale. Allow your body time to absorb that oxygen to allow those abs to recover. So next we're going to go into that back plank. Squeezing the butt, driving the hips up. Then we go into that plank hold, push-up position plank. Or just working nice slow push-ups, contracting the core. Or you can do the push-up that I'm going to do with that single arm raise with a band. Ooh, my core's feeling good right now. 20 seconds. Big breaths. Getting ready to go here. Ten seconds, guys. Again, just holding as much of this minute as you can. If you can go the whole minute, awesome. If you have to rest every 20 seconds, that's fine. Quick rest back up into the position. Here we go. And hold it. We're into the final two minutes of work. Squeezing the butt, driving the hips up, legs straight. 40 seconds to go, guys. Good work, stay strong, breathe, sing a song, whatever you got to do. 20 seconds. I'm going to go about 15, give myself a couple seconds to get into that band. Good, excellent. Final 10 seconds. Excellent, guys, holding tight. Three seconds. Go ahead and get ready for that band if you need to. Here we go, guys. Last 
Minute of the work. We got those push-ups or that plank. Whatever you're doing. Here we go. Hold in strong. Good quality reps. If you're using the band with that single arm raise, you have about seven seconds. And switch sides. Whew. Here we go, guys. 30 seconds. You got it. Keep that core good and tight. Hips tight. Stay strong. 15 seconds. Eight seconds. One more rep. One minute, guys. And rest. Awesome work, guys. The time rope's set for eight minutes. Awesome work. That's seven minutes of abs right there. Gives you a good little sweat going. Got some push ups in there if you did push ups. Nice, fun, quick little ab workout. You throw it into your training, do it at home before work, after work. I mean, Heck, I just did raw water and I'm waiting for my laundry to dry, so I was like, let's hit some abs, baby. You know, quick, seven minutes, good to go. Hit that core, feeling good, nice and saucy. Those starfish crunches are a good complement to those rotational variations. You can even up that to a minute of each the whole way through, you know. Instead of 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, go a minute with everything. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. Thanks for visiting me. Thanks for doing this workout. I hope you're enjoying it. And as always, stay fit. Handstand.